Okay, so I got to show you something. I, I was reading on cast bullet somewhere about zinc in, in your bullet metal. And one of the things that it suggested was to do an acid test on, the, on an ingot. And if there was zinc present, it would um, bubble. Well, I did that. Didn't get any kind of fizzing, any kind of bubbling, nothing like that going on. Um, so I thought, okay, there must not be zinc in this stuff. Uh, maybe I was just having a really crappy time casting bullets, but my bullets had big hollows, dents in them, the lead was cooling off in weird spots, the mold was good and hot. Um, just getting some really weird crap going on. And I also read in that same post about the zinc that one way to remove zinc was with sulfur. That I'm not a chemist by any stretch of the imagination, but they claim that uh, zinc will bond with sulfur and you can remove all but, I think it was 2% of the zinc that will stay um, bonded in the, in the bullet metal, but, um, that you can't get out, but they, they also said that that's usually not enough to make any kind of problems for you in casting. Um, this pot is a huge soup kettle. It's about half full of, of uh, alloy. And I had to take about half of it out. Because um, I couldn't, it's a little bit windy today, which is good if you're going to be out here melting lead trying to clean it up. Um, I had to take about half of it out so that I could keep it molten. This is about the fourth time I've done this, I think. Anyway, this was one heaping teaspoon of sulfur that I tossed in on the top of this, let it catch fire, and then stirred it in. And each time I've done this, four times now. I got about the same amount in retrospect to the sulfur that I put in. The first time I just kind of shook some over the top and I had probably oh, four or five, six pounds of crap that came to the top like this. So anyway, this is a pretty big spoon. There's one. one. It's like three of those big spoonfuls of this crap came out of there. So anyway, I'm going to do this one or two more times to see if it gets less and less. Um, maybe some of you other guys have experienced playing with the sulfur with me. Know a little bit more about than I do. Maybe you could comment on it. Um, this metal here is going to be used for casting round balls, and I've got a, a one-inch cannon that has a 2,000 grain projectile. I'll cast those out of it because that's just a um, just a fun, you know, bang. Well, it's easy to hit the side of the hill with it. So, anyway, I'm guessing this has some zinc in it. So here's what I cast with the uh, crappy lead, some 2,000 grain, um, about 970 caliber uh, bullets for my cannon. They're next to a 50 caliber 450 grain bullet.